almost burped through that, so that's gross. Hey, I'm Janelle, this is to DIY for, and I have quite the obsession with the dollar store. Anyone who knows me knows this. I would say it's borderline unhealthy. The other day I was in there for about 40 minutes, just, you know, checking out the new stuff because I always get new things. And I didn't walk away with a single item, I didn't buy anything, but I did come up with today's DIY idea. Now, I saw a few items and realized it clicked in my head that I could recreate this piece that I saw. It was either in a store, uh, something like Winners or HomeSense, or it was online. And it's really great what you can do with dollar store items, how you can turn it into something that looks so much more expensive than it actually is. So I'm gonna get into today's Cheap Thrills DIY. So from the dollar store, you can grab a glass container of any shape of your size, depending on your project that you're making, some air dry model clay, and then also the mirrored pieces um, that kind of would be used for a disco ball. So the clay, we're going to cover our glass dish with a bit of this clay. Not too thick, not too thin, basically enough so you can press in the mirrored pieces kind of to make a mosaic here. Um, not going to lie, this is going to take a very long time. Uh, as you can see, it's tedious work, but uh, it looks beautiful when it's done. And keep in mind, because it does take so long, don't cover the entire thing with clay right away. Your clay will start to dry out. A little bit of water will help, though, to help smooth it out and kind of moisten the clay to make it easier to press those pieces in. But honestly, you're going to want to watch a whole movie while you do something like this, depending on how big your piece is. It's gorgeous when it's done, though. I love this. Uh, I allowed it to dry overnight, and this is what it looked like. Unfortunately, it cracked a little bit but I did just decide to paint over that to hopefully hide it a little bit and also kind of give it a finished look. So while painting it, who cares? Get messy. You can paint over all of those mirrored pieces because once it dries, look how easy it comes off. This is just a little bit of water on a cloth and it wipes away very easily. So this is what it looked like when I was all finished. And like I said, depending on what you're using yours for, uh, it'll depend on your next steps. I decided to make mine into a little cactus garden. Uh, I picked up a few guys and some of this glitter gravel. I'm using it later, but I'm also using it in the base here with some larger hunks of gravel to help the soil drain better. That's important with cactuses. So fill it up with a bit of soil. Make sure you've got some gardening gloves that have some plastic coating on them because man, cactuses are prickly. So I'm just gently squeezing these pots out here and I'm going to repot them in the uh, new, new, new dish that I just made. If you're wondering, this is a bunny ears cactus and I uh, picked it up just because I like the way that it looked. Also because it went well with the other cactuses. So keep in mind if you're potting them all together, uh, they all need to like the same things. They all need to like the same amount of sunlight. They all need to like the same temperatures and the amount of water. So keep that in mind when you're putting something like this together. Uh, by the way, the second one here is a clothed opuntia. I believe I'm pronouncing that correct. I'll leave it all linked below for you if you want to check it out. That one actually has flowers, magenta flowers that I'm looking forward to seeing later. And this last guy, he was prickly. Uh, Mammillaria marxiana is that guy. And he's actually going to get a lot bigger. Six inches tall. And he's a big, fat, round cactus that will have yellow flowers at some point as well. So keep in mind the size of your cactuses as well. Unfortunately, I will have to repot them, but they look good for now until they get a little bigger than I will move them. So add a little bit more soil, pack them in there nice and uh, not too tight, but fairly tight. And then I finish it off with some glitter gravel on top and then give them a little bit of water. my cheap thrill series you can do so much with dollar store items and make them look a lot more expensive which is kind of what i think i did what do you think uh if you enjoyed the diy give the video a like and uh there's lots of other cheap thrills diys that i have done i will leave those linked down below if you're into the the cheap decor ideas please let me know i'll keep those videos coming for you and if you attempt to make any diy i'd love to see what it looks like so send me some photos Janelle Steeper on Instagram and on Twitter. You can follow me there and just tag me in those photos so I can check out your DIYs. Don't forget to subscribe. I will be back next Wednesday with a new video. Cheers.